Hello, Mr. McDermott here to talk to you about GCSE Science here at Coombe Dean as part of the Year 9 options process. Many of you will already know um, that science is part of the core curriculum um, and yet it's also appearing in your options. Hopefully I will demystify that for you now. Um, this is going to be presented to you as a table. If you see the headings on the top, on the left hand side, um, that's the core offering. Students who do not select science as an option um, all receive the GCSE core offering. And on the right hand side um, is what students who pick G GCSE science as an option will receive. Both courses uh, are AQA science courses. Um, the combined science course is called Trilogy um, and the separate sciences is Biology, Chemistry and Physics GCSE. If you're doing core science um, then you're doing 10 hours of science every two weeks and that would be delivered by two science teachers and between them they would cover aspects of Biology, Physics and Chemistry. If you're doing separate sciences because you picked science as an option then you'd be getting 15 hours of science every two weeks um, and that would be delivered by three A-level specialist science teachers, specialists in the biology, the chemistry and the physics. On the core, um, you would at the end of year 11 have six 75 minute examinations, um, two in biology, two in chemistry and two in physics. And in the separates, you would also have six exams, but they would be longer exams, 105 minutes each. Um, and they would, again, be in biology, chemistry and physics. And the core, the, you um, finish the course with two GCSEs, and that represents an average performance across all six papers. Whereas on the separate sciences, you get three separate GCSEs, one in each of the subject specialisms. Um, the individual GCSE grades for biology, chemistry and physics in the separates are based on your performance in the two subject specific papers. So the two biology papers create the biology GCSE and so on. So at the end of the course, if you don't take triple science as an option, you'll have two GCSE um, combined science grades. Um, so your certificate might say something like a 6.5 or a 7.6. Um, and that's not an indication of how you got on in individual components of the exam. That will have been worked out by um, averaging your performance in all six papers. So there's no indication on your final certificate on the core um, of whether or not you're stronger at chemistry than biology and so on. Meanwhile, on the triples, your exam certificate will give three separate grades each grade linked to a subject. So you'll have a GCSE biology grade and chemistry and physics. And there's no link between the grade in one science and what you get in the other science. So since everybody will be studying science in year 10 and 11, um, the question facing you is, do you want to take separate science as one of your option GCSEs? Um, I think the best way to help you to arrive at a decision there is to answer some of the, the common questions that I encounter. Um, so the first one there is, do I have to take separate science GCSE if I want to do A-level sciences? And um, the short answer is no. Um, by taking sciences separately at GCSE, you're going to cover more content. So you'll be better prepared if you want to go on to take A-level sciences. Um, and there is clear data that pupils who take separate GCSE science are more likely to get higher grades in A-level sciences. But that's not a given. Um, if you decide not to go for all three science GCSEs, you're not shutting any doors. It doesn't mean you can't go on and do science at A-level. The A-level courses in biology, physics and chemistry um, are all written to pick up from where the combined science, the core um, science courses, finish. Should you take triple science GCSE then if you want a career in science? Um, well, if you're already thinking about university or careers in science, then you're clearly interested in science. Um, and it's definitely worth considering taking separate science GCSE as an option. Um, it'll allow you to do more science in something that you're already expressing an interest in. Um, some universities have indicated that they may prefer applicants for science subjects to have taken triple award at GCSE. Um, so you could be giving yourself a, a slight competitive edge 
by doing triple science in terms of competitive university application places. You may currently not imagine yourself working in a, a career related to science and so is it worth doing triple science but whatever career you are considering taking triple science will set you up well for later life. Employers are crying out for candidates with science-based skills and the, the types of skills that you, you learn while studying um, sciences can be really helpful for all sorts of different careers. We call these sorts of skills transferable skills, um, whether it's doing analytical stuff or developing a scientific way of thinking, being able to process data. These are all highly transferable skills to many, many careers. If you're just not sure, it might be a bit too early for you to decide if you want to go into science or not. Um, taking three sciences um, separately, you'll be keeping your options open. The sciences are really quite different to one another um, and studying them separately means you just get more of a chance to find out about each one of them um, and whether or not you enjoy them and which aspects you find um, easier or more interesting. Um, so you're giving yourself more time to find out what you enjoy about the subject. And there's a myth that triple science is just for the clever students. Um, there's an idea that only the cleverest should think about taking it. Um, this shouldn't be the case. If you enjoy science, then you should consider separate sciences. Everyone does their best in the subjects that they enjoy. And you might find there's a certain area of science that you do really well in. Some people are put off from doing triple science because it seems like a lot of work. Um, but if by picking triple science as an option, you're spending more of your curriculum time covering more content, um, not harder content, more content, um, and you're enjoying it, then it's the, the right choice for you. There is a huge list of careers directly or indirectly related to having studied GCSE or A-level in biology, chemistry or physics. To name but a few in biology, um, healthcare, medicine, uh, jobs involving plants or animals, nursing, dentistry, forensic science, um, in chemistry, um, you've got engineering, medicine again, environmental science, metallurgy, space exploration, um, energy generation, in physics, electronic engineer, civil engineer, web designer, electrician, geoscientist, pilot, research scientist, um, and really important to remember that the sciences are fantastic preparation for non-scientific jobs thanks to the skills that they provide, those transferable skills that I was mentioning earlier. And here they are. Um, employers know that if you've done well in your sciences then you've demonstrated mathematical ability, problem solving, you can communicate complex ideas, you have an understanding of risk, um, you can think clearly, you can analyse situations, um, you can use evidence to justify decisions that you've made, you can think creatively, you've got research skills um, and you can describe and model complex situations. Those are really valued skills. These next few slides just give you an insight into some of the really exciting jobs science-based careers might take you into. Um, we have an ageing population um, and uh, careers related to healthcare and medicine and diagnostics, um, all science-based careers. Food security refers to a nation's ability to generate enough food, to grow enough food um, to feed the population and to get that, that food to the marketplace, to provide enough water to make sure the nutrients are in the soil. We need clean, secure, efficient ways of producing um, electrical energy. Um, so understanding about um, renewable energy and wind turbines and hydroelectric power and the ways in which we generate electricity. Lots and lots of jobs in this area in the future. Transport's not going to go away. Um, we're going to want to move goods around the country, around the world. Um, and engineers are going to be involved in the solutions there, whether it's the highway engineers, the traffic planning, um, the development of the vehicles, um, all jobs that are going to be undertaken by scientists. Climate action, resource efficiency, raw materials, um, how to make the most of the resources that are available on the planet in a way that's not damaging the planet. Again, scientists are right at the forefront um, of this busy, busy area of work. 
And as we have increased reliance on um, the internet, we need um, innovative and secure societies, CCTV systems, web design, um, all being carried out by science. The graph on the left shows um, A-levels considered essential for studying different degree courses and you can see maths, physics, biology, chemistry um, are right up there as being the, the most um, essential A-levels. And um, over on the right hand side money isn't everything but there you've got an indication of earnings achieved by people who have studied um, in the maths, physics and chemistry areas. Um, you've got medicine, law, engineering, physics, chemistry and um, biology all showing um, above average earnings. So I hope that gives you reasons to consider picking GCSE separate sciences as one of your options. Um, if you do, you'll be taught by three staff, all of whom teach biology, um, chemistry or physics at A level. Um, so they're teaching within the, the subject specialism um, and you'll you'll do more science, not necessarily harder, but in each of the, the three subject areas, you'll cover about a third additional content um, compared to the, the core science offering. So if you'd like any further information, then come and see myself, Mr. McDermott, um, or have a chat with your science teacher. You know where we are. Thank you for listening. And good luck with your choices.